All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Los Angeles Chargers franchise, and I will refuse to talk about the, anything revolving the number 27. If you know, you know. Anyways, we are the 7th seed going up against the 2 seeded Dolphins. Obviously, the playoffs are very different. Uh, in this file, the only one that's is the only matchup that's correct, I'm sorry, is the Vikings Giants. Other than that, I mean, the one seed of the Chiefs is correct. Other than that, everything's very different. But let's get it going against the Miami Dolphins. I already went through the weekly strategy and everything. Uh, we are 10 and 7. Dolphins are 12 and 5. Going against Tua. And I do play offense only now instead of defense. So without further ado, let's see if we can sneak and get a win against the Dolphins. Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. Mike McDaniel's walking out. Does he have a vape pen? Probably. Uh, NFL Wild Card Weekend. Ju I'm still not over it. Justin Herbert, Austin Eckler, and the Chargers looking to get a win. And not. I'm not going to talk about it. Not going to talk about it. Let's get this dub against the Dolphins to move on to face the Chiefs. So we start off out with. Blah, 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 we start out with the ball at the four yard line. Let's see if we can make something happen. And already Austin Eckler getting us to at least oh, 10 yards. He gets us the first down. First run, first play of the game. Austin Eckler is already showing off his uh, speed. Not speed. Showing off his skill at his position. Showing why he is one of the best backs in the league. As he only goes for two there. Got a quick third down and five. Probably going to pass it here. Uh, four verts doesn't seem like the smartest play in the world, but I feel like Eckler can get open, and he does, and he's going to get us to first down. Oh, Keenan Allen wide open. Big gain for him. Stiff arms a man. Gets down to the Dolphins, 36. Herbert is now 3 for 3 with 48 yards. We're probably going to go back to the ground game and see if Eckler can uh, keep getting that momentum going. And he is going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. Third and six. Herbert stays perfect on the day so far. Uh, my main target is probably going to be Gerald Everett. As Herbert is going to get sacked by Bradley Chubb. And that might knock us out of field goal range. 56-yard attempt for Dustin Hopkins. Can he hit it? About to find out. That's perfect. That should be good if it has enough. And it doinks. Dolphins get the ball, and the Dolphins do not get on the board. So we have a chance to, once again, be the first ones on the scoreboard. Austin Eckler looking like he was going to break free, but only gets two there. Let's see. I guess we're going to stick into the air because that's been our only success. Is through the air. Let's see if Gerald Everett can get himself open, and he does, as it is almost picked off. Third and eight already. Okay. That's what we're going to do here. All right, let's try this play here. Uh, Keenan Allen's being pressed. Uh, we're going to have Mike Williams streak and see what happens. I don't think he's going to beat his man. I lied. He's going to beat Xavier Howard. And he's going to get taken down at the 31. But Mike Williams, not a speedy receiver, completely beats Howard, freezes in place, uh, and gets the big first down. We got a minute 42 left in this first quarter. We're going to run some play action. Mike Williams is going to be the hot man here. And he is complete. Oh, it gets broken up. Mike Williams, once again, is press coverage. I don't think they learned any lesson. Oh, but they got the safety help up the middle. And Herbert, run with it. And he is going to get taken down. Leaves us at a third and five. We're going to go some triple slant option here. See what we can get going. And Keenan. And I get run right into the lineman. Christian Wilkins. And we're going to have to settle for... A field goal. This time, 48 yards. This should be a guarantee. The wind is 8. That's why we missed it, because of the wind. Let's see if Hopkins can get it. Once again, perfect accuracy, and it is good. 3-0 lead heading into most likely the second quarter, unless the Dolphins can score. And the Dolphins, another turnover on downs. 3 and out here. Our defense is balling without me controlling them. Austin Eckler, decent game there. We've made it all the way down to... The Dolphins, 25. Six minutes left here in this first half to go. And I'm going to throw it away there. Everyone was covered. And that is going to be an incompletion. Second and 10. I'd like to walk out of this without a field goal. I'd like to walk out of it with a touchdown. But I'm not sure if that's going to happen. That's a bad pass. 
but it gets there to McKinney. That was a risk right there. I did not see the middle linebacker. But we got ourselves a third and three here. Eckler's tired, so I'm not going to give him the ball. And Gerald Everett catches it. Oh, no. Did he not catch it? I guess he didn't. Fourth and three. Uh, I think I'm going to be aggressive here. I think I'm going to be aggressive. Fourth and three. I'm going to go for it and hope we can convert here. If not, it's going to look very dumb. Horvath is going to get us the first down in a little bit more. Down to the 11. That was a risk right there, but I knew someone had to get open on that play. And it's the fullback, Xander Horvath, the rookie. First and 10, four minutes left. Let's see if we can get in the end zone. Let's see who can get open. It's going to be Mike Williams. Might have some say, and it's picked off. What an interception by Howard. And the Dolphins could not capitalize. I will take it. I know I just threw a pick with Herbert. That is not the play I did. Whatever. I guess we'll just run it. That is not the play I wanted. I wanted that tight end uh, play as Eck was going to go down. But in the red zone, that was a golden opportunity. And it was picked off. An amazing interception. And we still only have three points up on the board. Our defense is playing fantastic as Gerald Everett with a big reception. Oh, Keenan Allen! What a catch! Holland just bit on that. Tried to get the pick. Tried to make a play. And it just did not work in his favor. He was all he could have easily swatted that as his arm goes through Allen's body. And Keenan Allen gets in the end zone for the first touchdown of the day. Oh my god, he caught that. Austin Eckler, what a reception. In the bro, I gotta see the replay for that. That was in a I don't know how he caught that. I know I threw the high throw on the move. Justin Herbert. Wow, what a beautiful pass. Right in his arms. Buddha. That's not Buddha Baker. Jerome Baker could not keep up. They had the linebacker on the running back. And Austin Eckler's in the end zone as we go up 17-0. With six minutes left in the third, the Dolphins finally get on. The scoreboard with a touchdown. Took him long enough. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Throw that away, Herbert. Oh, there's been a lot of QB pressures here in this game. The O-line is not doing fantastic. As we already got a second and 10 here. Keenan Allen. Great route running as usual. Gets the first down. And goes for a little bit more. Herbert's 19 for 27. 319 yards. Two touchdowns and a pick. Great game for him so far. Uh, the running game has kind of been non-existent so far. Uh, Herbert going to use his legs. And he's going to get out into space. Slide down. And he's going to get a nice run of about, I don't even know how many to be honest with you. I was not counting. But that's probably the biggest run of the game for us. 57 rushing yards. Herbert's got 21 of those. And Eckler is just going to get enough separation on the linebacker, and we get the completion. Got a third and six here in the uh, Dolphins' territory. Can we convert is the question. Austin Eckler is going to be just short. Ninth, I mean, fourth and one. And I feel like we kind of have to go for it. And they even telling us to go for it. I was going to say, I feel like we have to. Because we still have some sort of a cushion. It's going to have, because if they score, it's going to have pressure on us to score, and we do not convert. So now if the Dolphins get any type of score here, they're going to pressure us to answer back. And they're going to get a touchdown. We we need to answer back here. Six minutes left. We got a second and five. We've been running the ball a bit. Uh, got a big completion to Gerald Everett. Who I thought was going to be open. Oh! Eckler, he got stuck on the middle linebacker. He would have been wide open up the middle. But he does not. We need, I feel, we need a touchdown here, I feel. As Keenan Allen, once again, the third down hero, always converts. Give us another first down. I cannot settle for a field goal, I don't think, on this drive. Because the Dolphins have been streaking in the second half. As we have Eckler and Allen are both 100-yard receivers today. As Austin Eckler adds more to his total. And 374 yards for Herbert. We, I feel like we definitely need to score here. As Isaiah Spiller comes into the game. We have not even scored in the red zone today, dude. We have yet to score in the red zone as Spiller is going to go absolutely nowhere. Big third and three. I mean, if we do not convert here, I will kick the field goal. But although our defense has been great today, don't really trust it. 
do not trust that. I don't trust Madden. As Gerald Everett up the middle. Touchdown. That does not seal the game. But boy, does that help our win probability. And the Dolphins do not come down the field and score. And now all we have to do is milk that clock. Unlike the Chargers do in real life. And see ourselves to the divisional round to face the Kansas City Chiefs. And with that... The Los Angeles Chargers take out the two-seeded Miami Dolphins and head on to the divisional round to face the one-seeded Chiefs. 24-14 is your final score. The Dolphins made a late rally in that second half, but it was not enough as we... The Cinderella story continues. The passing game was amazing. The running game in the second half was amazing as uh, Eckler just balled out as Tua and the Dolphins get sent home early. Final stats, Herbert, 27 for 37, 389 yards, three touchdowns and a pick. Tua, yeah, he had a bad game. Only eight completions on the day. He had two touchdowns, but eight for 24, 173 yards. Awful game for him. Austin Eckler, 28 attempts, 107 yards, four yards a carry. No touchdowns on the ground, but he took care of it in the air. Ten receptions, 125 yards and a touchdown. Keenan Allen led the way with six receptions, 130 yards and a touchdown. Then Gerald Everett with that last one to seal the game. Defensively, let's see how the AI did. Two sacks for Bosa. One sack for Tranquil and one sack for Van Noy. Then Xavier Howard had the only pick. But that's going to be it for me. GG.